So now we have installed the lay shaft, the bottom of the housing, and then the output shaft from the other end. And I have a workbench with a slot. And uh, I secured the, the bearing of the output shaft with three screws that it will not fall down. There is this spring and uh, you have to observe how the other spring is and this should go the opposite direction. And it's just put inside, simply put inside here like this. And uh, after that time for the dogs for the synchro. So, and they are in this case, uh, this end synchro have symmetrical dogs. So uh, you can put them either way and you know that by, because the groove in the center of the depression of the sliding ring is uh, at the middle. Dogs are inserted, so trying to hold the three dogs in place and putting this ring here. The synchro has uh, such depressions here. So now it's important that the dogs are going into these depressions on this synchro and later on with this other synchro. And if they are going that way, then these dogs will be able to go down as far as necessary. Because otherwise they will not be going correctly. Now we can check that the end of the dog, each dog is in the depression correctly. This one is not. We back up a bit and uh, push the dog backwards. Okay, now it's correct. Now the sliding will be able to slide forward when the synchro is in the correct position. Like that. But in order to get this next synchro ring right, we should push the dogs in this position. Now the synchro goes there correctly. And uh, now we are ready to insert the axle in the housing. The bearings are inserted with the grease. And uh, now we can, we, let's not forget to put the seal on the end of the housing. At this time we can actually take the synchro off and then insert the shaft and at this point we can put the synchro in the correct location and the shaft should go between the bearings seals go in the right place and uh, it's complicated and axles axle goes fully in lay shaft should go in correct location and uh, to assist with the position in the lay shaft I have put the straps lifting straps under one end of the lay shaft is uh, slightly thicker you can try it out which way it goes in this goes in easily this goes in difficult so start tapping there's actually a item number stamped on this end which is going in afterwards so now we have to center the gears spacers so that the axle goes in a little bit turning the gears can help here now it's really close now we can pull a bit with the strap Okay, now it has started to go and now we can check the other end. Problem is that the spacer is on the way. So somehow we have to move the spacer. The axle itself is in the right place, but we need to move the spacer slightly. Uh, 
Okay, now the guiding axle. I had a piece of pipe in 16 mm diameter as the guiding axle. And now it is coming through the hole. The reason for the axle is that the, the needles of the needle bearings won't fall out. Right now we will turn it back axle down. So we turn it this way and tap down the axle. Axle is flush now and we can rotate the end bearing holder to the correct position. So this is the correct position of the end bearing holder.